So why, why governance and accountability is important for, for making progress in, for the green economy? Let's, let's think of an example of um, government, but it's not, not only about government, it's, it's, it could also be about um, industries, businesses, and other kind of organizations. But if, if a government wants to move out, say, of a private car policy, you know, and on to public transportation and non-motorized uh, policies, which, which would be coherent to, uh, with the green economy. Um, if you think of that kind of, of change of policy, it's uh, extremely complex. There are a number of factors there, there are a number of sectors that interact. Um, so so that, that kind of decision is, is very complex. And what we are saying here is that we need rules of the game. We need, we need a plan, we need a vision, we need a plan of action and uh, we need indicators to make that possible and, and of course we need governments to deliver. That's, that's probably the most important. And if they are not able somehow to deliver because of the uncertainties, the complexities that are faced, uh, we need good uh, reporting, we need good uh, justification in terms of uh, why it, it hasn't worked. So, so basically, governance and accountability would work that way and uh, as I said not only for governments but also for uh, businesses in terms of having say an action plan for cutting emissions uh, but to governments governments could have an action plan to uh, uh, reduce carbon emissions and, and have a, a timeline for that and uh, indicators so the whole package participation, access to information, that whole package uh, we're talking about is governance and accountability and that's what we think is crucial if we want to make the change.